The Morgan Report with David Morgan. Discover how to build and protect your wealth at themorganreport.com. David Morgan of themorganreport.com for the week ending 6 September 2024. I'm going to make this a short and sweet one. This is again off our Twitter feed at SilverGuru22. And I'll try to scroll slowly. Uh, first one I want to comment on is from Peter Croft talking about silver production. Uh, shows you <clears throat> the cost of silver production, where it comes from, uh, years going from 2021 through 2023. Of course, figures for 2024 are in work. Sales are South America, CIS, Oceania, and Asia. So worth taking a look at that. Going further, uh, <clears throat> Warwick Smith gave me a call earlier in the week and asked that I put up a new series that he is doing. Uh, this is from American Pacific Mining. He, uh, I'm not sure he's still the CEO of it. He may be. Uh, he's brought many companies uh, into, into the public's attention. He's had a pretty high success rate. Anyway, the point being is that uh, went ahead and reposted uh, this new show he's calling The Speculators. And uh, I'm going to finish off kind of this update or this weekly perspective, rather, with that in mind. So you might want to grab a hold of that and um, put it in your bookmarks or whatever, as he interviews a lot of people on the speculative side of the mining industry. Uh, happy Hawaiian, talking about technically where we're at and a lot of potential for the market going higher, which I think we're all aware of. Uh, Bob Coleman put out this, which is a very Im important thing that a lot of people may not know. And um, this is the fact that there's going to be a change in what is uh, considered good delivery bars in the future. Uh, so the inventory has gained a lot of silver here recently, 78.4 million ounces. And as Bob says, two things are going on. <clears throat> Undated bars are being put on the receipt ahead of January 1st, 2025 deadline for good delivery changes. They have to have certain criteria that these bars do not meet at this time, but will be grandfathered in, as the expression goes, into the COMEX. So a lot of these bars that are, let's say, in inventory are uh, coming into the COMEX. Uh, more importantly, he says futures selling has accelerated. This is due to simple unwinding of large leverage open interest among speculators. However, with interest rates looking to be lowered, the contango is dropping on an accelerated basis recently. Players, <clears throat> players will delivery will deliver. He means physical silver, place the bars on receipt, and sell futures contracts against their position. That's what takes place all the time. Ah, uh, they do this to capture the contango or positive spread between the spot metal and December's futures contract. The spread rate has come down from the annualized rate of five and a half percent last week to four and a half percent this week. I put this up on uh, obviously on my Twitter feed. Uh, oh, about a week ago, roughly. This came from a chat board. Actually, it came to the end of an article. But regardless, I asked the question: Will this happen again? At 63, this is not me. I was fortunate enough to have a unique thing happen to me when I was a much, much younger man, trading silver mainly now for 45 years. But when I was virtually a newbie, I hit the lotto with junior miners and allowed me to semi-retire at a reasonably young age. I caught the Coeur d'Alene. He misspelled it by a long shot, but he caught the Coeur d'Alene move from 30 cents to $50 as part of it. Since then, I've been hooked, and I wish I was 20 years younger because I think that's about to happen. What's about to happen will make the what happened before look like a small party. People with even $10,000 in the right miners will make uh, those who realize just how ignored and undervalued these stocks are and become millionaires. So I asked the question at the top, can this happen again? And the response, I took it for three days. Uh, 1,100, slightly more than that, voted. About 80% round numbers said it would happen again, and about 20% said it would not happen again. Uh, what's interesting is I think it will, but it won't be for a, a while. 
right now the um the top tiers are the way to be way, uh, way to be invested at this time uh we have six in our top tier two are making all-time new highs and i did an interview this week with uh, financial sense news hour and you know picking uh 33 in this sector and having them both make new highs is not an easy feat but i talked about uh one that's that's leans towards silver it's really now more of a gold silver uh stock but regardless if you bought um silver at the time that silver was making a new high at you know 48 dollars in uh first of may late april of 2011 uh that stock price was i think 34 and right now it's like 54. so if you put your money in silver you still be down you know three-fifths or two-fifths rather for $30 an ounce waiting for a break even. Whereas had you put money in that stock, you'd be up from $34 to about 54. So if you pick the right stocks, now there's a you know contention about, well, I think I've said this before on this weekly perspective, on aggregate, if you just blend them all together and average them a weighted average, silver and gold or silver, gold particularly has outperformed the gold stocks. That's true, but that's on aggregate. If you pick them carefully, again, we have six. And out of six, 33% are making new highs. And the others aren't doing that bad, but they're not at their all-time highs. I'll be honest here. So anyway, it's something to consider. We're going to try something new on the uh, on the website. It should be coming out within the next so probably week or two. So be advised on that. And I will finish uh, this update with this. Um, I, this is a repost for me. I didn't even comment on it. Uh, the Heiress Journal. I'm 34. I used to think politics were real. Trump was a free thinker and liberals were brainwashed. Then I discovered Murray Rothbard and he changed my life forever. Seven lessons from one of America's most controversial economists that will change how you see the world. I would encourage everyone, especially younger people, to uh, dig into Murray Rothbard. He is uh, a free market anti-state individualist that if you study him i think he will have a huge influence on you and certainly did on me he's probably one of the great leaders of uh of the austrian economic school of thinking and there are things that uh me not that i'm anybody but regardless don't agree with him on a couple things but uh don't have time to go into those now uh, they're very subtle. They're not any of the main premises or main ideals that he holds dear and, and is so strong in, uh, in writing about, talking about, and everything he's done with his life. But mine are very, very in a subset, subset type of category. Regardless, I'm going to quit with there. It's going to be another week ahead in the, all the markets and, of course, the uh, U.S. elections coming ever closer. This is David Morgan of TheMorganReport.com signing off. I'll be back with you next week with another weekly perspective.